You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, we got a sports topic here that we need to talk about. Now, I think me and you had actually, I don't know if me and you actually shot this together or not, but um, there was, no, I made it myself. There was a, um, a cyclist that was a part of, um, I think she was a part of Team USA, Inga Thompson. Right. She's uh, 59 years old. And um, she came out and she said that um, athletes, female athletes need to take a knee and protest against um, biological men coming over into women's sports. Now, she is actually a part of, um, who is she a part of here? The governing body. I'm trying to remember the name of the uh, the governing, governing body right here. Let me see if I can actually find it. I know. Oh, here, the, here it is. In the Olympics, U- Union Cyclist, got a, yeah, Union yeah, Cyclist they, International. That that is um, what she was a part of. I believe she was a director. But check this out. She is a director no more because now she has been fired. Yeah. Huh. Cycling team parts ways with Olympian after she says transgender women shouldn't compete against biological females and right here she put this out right here this was on um may 7th it is time for women cyclists to start protesting uci cycling policy start taking a knee at the starting lines team managers need to speak up and protect their riders hold signs at every race save women's sports that is what she actually put out. And now they've given her her walking papers roads. Huh. Well, look, oh, this, once, this once, ago, that once again goes back to the fact that we've talked about, isn't it funny how all these people that supposedly was so all in and, and, and cared about women's sports so greatly, now that actual women com- competitors are being punished? They are being punished now and losing their jobs over trying to fight for actual competitive women's rights. Think about this. This is something that had an entire movement in the 70s going on involving Title IX, and they have completely decided to throw that out the window for the sake of an LGBTQ agenda. It is unbelievable what has happened. We've seen Megan Rapino. She has sold out women's sports. Brittany Griner. Sue Bird is another one. Completely sold out women's sports. And we, here we have somebody literally losing their job. Look, she's 58 years old. How many years has this woman dedicated to women's sport and being competitive, an Olympia, uh, Olympic competitor, and she gets punished? Because she doesn't want biological men given an unfair advantage against women. You know what I mean? It, it's it's crazy. Yep. This is yep. nuts. Look, look at this here. Thompson shared a tweet on May 7th. And on May 11th, uh, Siniska Cycling Party ways with her. Siniska uh, shared a statement about the departure of Thompson and claimed it was and quote a political organization despite the fact that the decision to remove her is rooted in liberal politics quote miss thompson's departure resolves a troubling conflict of interest siniska is an apolitical organization and her campaign and methods by charter uci code of ethics u.s law and decency are not and will never be siniska's mission the statement read The organization said that Thompson's social media presence includes the, quote, dehumanization of transgender people. What? Look, let me continue on right here. Let me read this next next part here. Quote, to be clear, Ms. Thompson is entitled to her opinions and advocacy. I can't talk right now, Uh, but her methods and uh, personal attacks are inconsistent with Siniska's uh, mission to advance opportunities for women. Those methods, well-documented, 
on Ms. Thompson's uh, social media presence include dehumanization of transgender people, spreading misinformation, demagogy, how do you even say, what is that? Demagogy? I don't know. And personal attacks on anyone who opposes her views. Demagogy. Wow. Wow. Do you know what you're going to think eventually, especially with the Olympics and all that, like, it's not going to happen next year in Paris. But I think the Los Angeles Olympics in 2028, I think the, tra the transgender crowd will get their own category there as well. So it's going to be male, female, and transgender. I think that's eventually going to happen. Look, if the Olympics believes or is concerned about their disintegrating television ratings, wait till this starts showing up on television screens. This is going to destroy the Olympics. Yeah. This will be the end of the Olympics. You will have never seen a plummet in ratings. This will be absolutely NBA like because people will not watch biological men out there dominating women. They're not no. going to want to see that. This is an integrity issue for people. Okay? And you've 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 ripped the integrity out of women's sports now. It's gone. If you choose to allow biological men to go out there and compete, you're abolishing all the hard work that these women have put in to try to make the Olympics to begin with. And let us note, women will be robbed of spots to get into the Olympics Bingo. that they so very hard worked for. They're going to be yeah. that's going to be ripped away from them. So a guy that's got sponsorship hard, sponsorships are going to be dragged down as well. Yeah, they're going to lose money. They're, they're going to lose sponsorships. Uh, all of this that they have worked hard for, not to mention all the money they have spent, because, you know, the, the thing is, these people hire coaches, personal trainers, all this stuff to, to rise up the ranks as they're trying to become and make the Olympics and try to win medals. All this hard work's going out the window. It's, it's really awful. This is, this is truly awful. Uh, we have got to get politicians involved, and politicians have to figure out a way to check these organizations and make sure this doesn't happen. But I don't know if they can. No. Now, in the in the Olympics, uh, you know how they were talking about this governing body? Well, in the Olympics, every sport has their own governing body right. that, that all comes together to the IOC, okay? And they all yeah. got their own regulations. Yes. Some sports are not allowing this. Some sports the, are. The water sports, is all they've already banned trans right. athletes from right. competing. Uh, right. I think we did a video on that like in January or something like that. So yeah, like, a, Leah, like Leah, Leah Thomas has no Olympic future on the uh, women's side. She was about to go out there and make a total joke out of that. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.